Syrian warplanes struck a strategic rebel-held town in the country's north in an attempt to reopen a key supply route Tuesday, three days before the U.N. proposed start of a truce that appears increasingly unlikely to take hold. The U.N. Arab League envoy to Syria, Lajar Brahimit, has suggested that both sides in Syria's 19-month-old conflict lay down their arms during Eid al adha a four-day Muslim holiday that begins Friday. However, neither Syrian President Bashar Assad nor rebels fighting to topple him have committed to a truce, and Brahimid has not explained in public how such a truce would thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Be monitored. Activists reported clashes between regime forces and rebels in several areas of Syria on Tuesday. One of the heaviest battles raged in Marhad al numan the town that straddles the main highway between Aleppo, Syria's largest city and commercial hub, and the capital Damascus. Opposition fighters seized the town earlier this month, and their presence there has hampered the regime's ability to send supplies and reinforcements to northwestern Syria, including Aleppo, where government troops are bogged down in a bloody fight for control of the city. On Tuesday, Syrian warplanes thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Attacked Marhad al numan and the village of Mar Shamshe, as troops and rebels battled over the nearby Syrian military camp that has been under siege for days, according to the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, an activist group. Amateur video posted Monday showed rebel fighters unleashing heavy bursts of machine gun fire toward a convoy heading to the besieged army camp. Syria restricts access to foreign reporters and the authenticity of the video could not be independently confirmed. The Syrian uprising erupted in March 2011 as a popular uprising against the Assad regime and thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. It has since escalated into a full-blown civil war. More than 34,000 people have been killed in the past 19 months, said Rami Abdul Rahman, the head of the observatory which relies on a network of activists on the ground. This figure includes civilians and rebel fighters, but also more than 8,000 regime soldiers, he said. Abdul Rahman said there were no signs on the ground that rebels or government troops were preparing to halt fighting during Eid al adha or the Feast of Sacrifice. Until we see evidence on the ground, it means it's a dream only. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased he said of the proposed truce. The head of the Syrian National Council, the main Syrian opposition group in exile, said chances for a ceasefire are slim. SNC chief Abdel Basic Siadak told the Associated Press on Tuesday that rebel fighters are willing to halt fighting during the holidays, but will respond if attacked. He said he doubts the regime will honor the ceasefire and that Brahimid's plan is too vague. Brahimid hasn't any mechanism to observe the situation, Siadak said by phone from Stockholm. Sweden. Now he is saying every side thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Can do that halt fighting by itself. In Damascus, Syria's deputy foreign minister, Faisal Meghdad, said the Assad regime is cooperating with Brahimid. We are always optimistic, he said when asked about the chances of a ceasefire. However, Brahimid said after a visit to Damascus on Sunday that he did not get a commitment to the truce from the regime. The relentless fighting in Syria has forced hundreds of thousands of people to flee the country to escape the violence. 